So if you're using Maya 2011, you're going to realize that Gozi doesn't stick up here in the shelf very easy. So Here's script editor, load script. It's going to be in here, users, shared, and pixel logic. Goes the apps, Maya, and that one. Edit, select all, file, save script to shelf, go Z. Okay, window. Shelf editor. Save all shells. Okay, there we go. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to save, but it's going to get near it. Okay, now let's go to ZBrush. We got to switch out here. We got to switch to a Z sphere. And the reason for that, I don't want to overtopple my mesh. I want the old jacked up mesh, and I want my new sexy mesh. Ooh, four points detected. Ooh, that doesn't look like a creature. Okay, so there's there's something wrong here. Let's look at what's in here that it's not liking. So to do that, you just go to Mesh, Clean Up, and you look for faces with more than four sides. Okay, it turned blue. That means there is something in here that it doesn't like. And sure enough... There is a face on this one side that has more than four sides, but the other side does not. Riddle me this. Okay, so for some odd reason. It's supposed to be a quad in that area. And this side's fine. Which is my positive X. Nice. So the positive X side is fine. Yes, the positive X side is fine. Whew. Okay, good. <laughs> so I'm going to try a mirror cut. And this mirror cut's going to go into Z and Y. Turn on wireframe on history. Good. So why do you think it was important that um, the positive X be good? Well because uh, the whole mirror cut thing uh, if mirror cut relies on a positive side to mirror from so let's do a cleanup on this model model turns out clean again now this this actual edge in here is going to be perfect but my problem is I can't reach absolute zero in ZBrush very easy with um, symmetry on so I'm going to delete it 
Okay. Save scene. This time it imports fine. Okay, so I got this one and I have this one. It's really hard to tell which one's which, right? So I'm going to save one as a low. And this one. Is high. Okay, good. Now I have a low and a high. Much easier to understand that. Okay, so high. Let's go to high and append low. Okay. Now, what I'm going to be doing is taking the high and making it a little bit uh, high to, or high res. And then taking the low, and I'm going to take a few minutes. I first, divide it up once. It's just going to be a little easier if I divide it once. I'm going to take a few minutes to use this new brush called the Topological Base Move. Okay, and again, that is located here. And the thing about this brush is, it only moves what you're telling it to move. In other words, like sometimes when you're using the move command, you'll move this in, but it'll suck this in also. This will not do this. This brush is amazing. Okay, now, this is a long, tedious process. Again, I would rather do this than uh, any topology fixing back in topology tools. So I'm just going to start puffing out this geometry so it kind of matches. And I'm just slightly tapping my Wacon drawing tablet. Like if you own a drawing tablet, this will be cake for you. If you're trying to do this with a mouse, yeah. You're probably going to ask the question, how do you know if it's too far? And I'll answer that right now, as soon as I get this leg done. Okay, how do you know if it's too far? Um, first off, uh, have the undo feature ready. Um, and have both tools showing, though high being on top helps, kind of, and I can just go into project all. Okay, and then I hide my other one and looked up for any jacked up spots. You'll see that there is going to be a few in the leg, because I haven't done those yet. And you're going to see some in the face, because I haven't addressed that either. The toes and feet, if you get lucky, will work. But I see they're a little jacked up also. So that's when you know um, if you reach the state where you can use project all. Is things won't look jacked up. Sorry for using such lame jargon terminology, but yeah, that's basically how it goes. And sometimes moving this stuff at a lower level does seem 
seem to help sometimes. Like this stomach area right here, you know, I want to be able to grab that. Now I can also use the inflate in deformation a little bit, but I don't know. I just like seeing this stuff. There's really no shortcut. I tried them all, trust me. You can use it in conjunction with this at best. Okay, the hands are, are really good. They just need to be moved over one iota. Okay, so I got it halfway. Meet me in the next video where I straighten it out some more.